What's up, guys? Josh and Matt here from Toaster Chimp, and we are playing one of our... That's one of mine, at least. It's one, one of my, my favorite games. One of my hey, favorite yeah. games. Yeah, hers, too. Yeah. This was the first game that you... That's, this is when I got my Xbox 360. This is one of the first games that you picked out for me. You are like, start with this. Start with the Bioshock. It's an amazing game. Um, it's an incredibly well-designed game, and it was sort of... It still wows me. I don't know that it's revolutionary in this fact, but it's its one of the best examples, I think, of... The beginning, the opening <laughs> cinematic still wows me. Yeah, I think it's probably one of, the, one of the greatest examples of environmental storytelling in a video game. Um, not a lot of... Not a lot of... Um, like, people just outwardly telling you what's happening or what happened... Sort of, they kind of just let, they leave all these little clues in the environment, um, which I love. And yes. I'll point some of them out, because I think just just the first level even itself is so, I also really so love, well designed. I also really love the usage of uh, uh, the uh, audio diaries. That too. That was the first time I said But I think even, I think even the audio diaries... Don't technically need to be there. So, also, I should mention for this playthrough, we're going to be playing on hard with no Vita chambers. Yes. Um, because it makes it a lot more intense. I agree. And I think it's interesting. I would agree with it that. It changes the game completely, in my opinion. I think it's the way it should be played, but. Do you think it was um, North or, or South Atlantic that they put that in there? It says mid Atlantic. Mid Atlantic. Sun. It's like wonder, in the middle well, wonder, of the Atlantic. Well, I wondered if it was. I wonder if it was like in the middle between north and south or in the middle, like. You know what? No. In the mid. <laughs> in the middle. There's not a lot of space in the middle, I think. There's a lot of space. The Atlantic Ocean's huge. Well, I guess it's a. Oh, okay. Okay. I think that if you. I think maybe they say it here at some point in the story, but they say that the the city of Rapture is, like, south of, like, Finland or something. Yeah. I don't, I don't actually recall. It's, like, but it's in the mid, the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. So it's between, like, England and the United yeah. States. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... Of course, we're flying. Oh, propeller! Oh no, God. This is your pretty. This is a pretty basic like setup, but it's simple enough. It's like you don't need to know who you are. Yeah. You just need to know that you're in a plane, and the fire is just kind of leading you. Like when you, as soon as you come up, it's like here's here's the door. You should be coming here. And there's this really nice touch that I like right there. That sound, yes. Yeah. Uh, such a nice. I, I I love that sound because Very it's foreboding. yeah. It's like foreboding, and it gives and it it gives you a sense like oh, suddenly there's this monolithic structure. This game still looks really good. It does today, and this came out in 2007. I think. 2007. And also, this is a nice touch too. Not a, like. This is the thing. I like to think about game design like really in depth. This whole like scene right here, just this one lamp, actually gives you a sense of something. Everything else here looks fine, right? Right. But there's this one the lamp. One that's just like it's uh, kind something's of a, something's a yeah, little off. something's a little off, right? Yeah. It's supposed to give you the sense that like, and I just love like the art. I love art house like architecture yeah. and stuff. Love how it just says propaganda. propaganda. Oh, I probably should have turned that off. Hang on. I didn't know what that was. Uh, art subtitles. Go away? Okay. And then, of course, you come inside for this famous scene. Right. Yeah! Between Brazil and Africa. Something like that. I don't know, there's just so much space. Right. Really, being, uh, being as big as I as think Rapture they really is, meant here. Probably right? in, the, in the middle of the North Atlantic. Ocean. Yeah. No gods or kings, only man. This this also like just reading that gives you a sense of yeah what this place is all about. It's very 
uh, I mean, neo secular. I think that there is like a piece of it that like science. I think in, in the second one they mention like like how you managed to get so many people into the community of Rapture, but there is a novel, but I didn't. How many how many people just were like like sailors or even you know pilots just like what is that? The... Well, they knew that what it, they knew what it was. Before, was it? Yeah, but they give you the sense because there's that in Bioshock 2, There's that whole museum where they're like, yeah. Andrew Ryan said here, you know, like there, that's where we'll build it or whatever. And and uh, I feel like people would have known about this place. That's the weird thing. Mm -hmm. it, it, the first game does give you this weird sense that like this is some hidden society. How did all these people get down here and like nobody seemed to know about it? You know what I mean? I do get that sense in this game, but like when you play two, it seems like people knew. No. But it but it was like but it was the it was the 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 fifties and then the sixties obviously because this game takes place in nineteen sixty. No. And then. I always loved this. Oh yeah, this is. Like such an amazing intro. And the, and I and I always still get I get a little oh, some chills run up the oh, run up my arms and chills when when he you pulls it when he pulls it back. <laughs> Rapture. Oh, like, oh shit. Yeah. The first time I played us. There is a sense of like wonder. It's just like wow that. Is something. Yeah. Because, like, just consider, like, all the work that went into that. Yeah. This whole part is really introducing you to, like, the grandeur the, 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 of Rapture. The, like, sort of making you, like, go, oh, but then I love this part, too, with yeah, the Big Daddy. With, yeah, because with Big Daddy. you see it, you hear him. And the whale. We might have missed it. Yeah, and the whale kind of gives you a... The whale is a sense of scale. I like seeing all the little I things, love like, surprise, uh, yeah. Bellamia's... That's a good... Fortune. That's actually a good point. The whale. I'd never thought about the whale. The whale, because whales are huge. Gigantic. So, so like, it really gives you a sense of scale. Yeah, it gives you a sense of like how big this place All is. All good things of this earth flow into the city. I would love a shirt with that on it, and like this, like a like a uh, silhouette of like the city or something. Oh. That'd be fantastic. And then we got the little advertisements and stuff. Every oh, just the grand. The atmosphere of this game is just yeah. perfect. Yeah, there is a like a there's a there's a at least in the beginning there is like a huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, she is finally finally going to sleep. Finally, not enough. All right. So coming up, all of a sudden now things obviously aren't so good. <laughs> Poor old Johnny. I don't mean to trespass. Oh, I sounds like Bill Clinton. I didn't do it. Oh, oh god! Let me get out on this. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I can look around and stuff. But I just don't want to. Just don't want to drop it. And then there's this person, this splicer. Obviously, now you're like, this city is not a nice this place. This is not as breathtaking as. It looks on the outside. <laughs> yeah. So I think certain things in this game hold up, like at least the like graphic wise. Yeah. I think the game itself holds up incredibly well. But Yeah, I played this game. Um I think that the uh, some of the textures as you can see like up close don't look as good by today's standards, obviously. Well, like the lighting. Right? All of the really big textures, like the giant buildings, look amazing. Oh yeah. But it's usually like the stuff you get up close to, like we'll show in a sec. Like this glass, yeah. not as high res as the stuff you'd see. Now, I mean, this game is still beautiful, and it looked just absolutely gorgeous when it came out. Oh, yes. I remember, I didn't, I had, I didn't care about this game at all. I knew nothing. I remember when the first trailer came out, where it's like you grabbing the, 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 the little sister out of the thing, and then, and yes. then the big daddy pop. I was like, what am I looking at? I don't even know what this is, right? I love this hallway too. Yeah. It just looks fantastic. I don't think I've ever seen that. The great chain is guided by our. Hand. I don't think I've. I've never looked this direction before. Oh, look at that. Like you never need to. I know. I. Hmm. Um. What was I saying? 
Uh, just the atmosphere and the you know, some the some things don't look as good. Right. Least. Anyway, um, this is another thing I like too. Obviously, when you come in, you're like something's wrong. Right. But I like that you see these signs like Rapture is dead. We're like not we're not your property. It's like obviously nobody want like they didn't want people something to get went, out. Something yeah. went wrong. <laughs> Flickering lights. The TVs don't work. Like obviously you can imagine what this looked like. All the canceled. You can imagine what this looked like when it was in its prime. Like this was probably like the nice entrance immigration area. You know. I remember what I was saying. So I didn't care about this game at all when it got announced because I didn't know what it was. I was like, I don't. What is this? Like, who cares? Yeah. But uh, Jay, who you may have seen on some of our other videos, was like, No, man, it's gonna be amazing. And then he showed me the opening, and he was like, You should play the demo. Which is the opening? So I downloaded the demo. I downloaded the demo. And surprisingly, I I loved it, and so I. And then after I got the, all right, I started playing the demo, and I played the demo like eight times before it came out. And oddly enough, actually, this game got released like a week after I turned eighteen. Yeah. And so no, I went up to two thousand. No, seventeen. Seventeen, because you have to be seventeen by and ready game. So a week after I turned seventeen, this game came out, and this was like the first game that I could go buy on my own. Like without a parent, that was an amazing feeling. I was like, "Give it to me," you know. So good. Our friend Adam loves this game so yeah, much. I love this game too. A friend of mine has that tattoo. Lots of people I, have I that tattoo. Uh, yeah, it's a good tattoo. It's a good tattoo. It's a good tattoo. The point of uh, the, uh, the problem is that like, if you want to get that tattoo now, there is now you look like just another asshole. Kind of. It's not like some people get tattoos of like really obscure games. Yeah. Like get uh, like getting the Falsy tattoo. The what? Or the Lissy oh the Falsy. The lat of the Lissy tattoo. Yeah, that is a cool. Although like most people don't really like Final Fantasy Thirteen, so I I like it. I don't care. Uh -oh. And then this guy looks like his little fish on his cherry popped. I think I yelled that at Adam once. <laughs> Just out of context, super randomly. Yeah. This is another good example of like a scene that's giving you a sense of like, there's pe the people in this city are still alive and they're like looting bodies, you know, for anything. Which, it's a very dark, dire situation. Like now, all of a sudden, the grandeur collapses around you in less than ten minutes. And then there's this guy. Oh, yeah. Like that. That can't be good. No. <laughs> Look, Mr. Bubbles. <laughs> someone should have a someone should have a mod in this game where all the little sisters are Kermit. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Bubbles! Whoa! Yeah! I know he'll be an angel soon. All right, come on. I gotta try to leave that. All right, you do that. I'll keep talking. Anyway, <laughs> excuse me. If anyone watched the uh, Minecraft videos, this is only a day after I was sick, so I'm still a little sick, but... Alright, we got our first plasmid. If, if anybody's watched huh? the, the videos from earlier, the, the, the Siege and... Uh, what was that? Oh, Dar we played Dungeon. Darkest Dungeon, yeah. Then, uh, then you know, we've been waiting for this moment. Yeah, we've been waiting for Matt Star to fall asleep, like, all day. Um, I was going up here because I don't remember if there's anything in these trash cans, but I, you know, we're playing on hard. Oh, there is. There's Eve hypos and shit. Oh my god. You always gotta check, everybody. You gotta check every corner because there could be something good. There's always good stuff in there. I like this. Pick your plasmid and evolve. All right, here we go. We're off to the races. And remember that plane? Oh, there's a piece of it. Wham! Oh my god, I love that. I love that that's how this happens. Oh, wait, you can't see. There we go. It's just like such a... Ah, oh, it's so great, man! Like this level, this first level is so well designed. That they're like, oh, remember that plane crash that just happened five minutes ago? Well, that piece is gonna come... It's just so good. It's so good, you guys. Alright. 
it's silent. <laughs> okay, first combat area. Oh, I don't remember. Okay, triggers. That's not good. All these hypos. I was just saying, like, when the plane crashes into the tube, yeah. it's like, that's such an awesome kind of ode, like, remember? Well, it's here. Whoa! I always love... I always, oh, lo I always oh. love the idea of, because this is the core difference of, of the powers, you know? Oh, yeah. The powers are amazing. Okay. Well, we did that. Smoke some cigarettes, eat some potato chips. Let me get to... Let me just eat everything. I love, like, how the city leaks, too, in lots yeah. of areas. Uh, because it, it does give you a sense that, like, this once great city is, like, it's almost like bleeding, in a way, yeah. you know what I mean? It's like a wounded... Holy crap! <laughs> it's like a wounded animal that's, like, bleeding to death. This is so cool. They did just did such a good job with this game. Ryan. Oh! Oh no! I love all these two. Liberty, when creativity, independence. Elevator comes down. Yeah. Oh! Oh! And you're like, oh shit. I have a, I have a this question. This guy, this guy just doesn't give a fuck at all. Yeah, he's like, I'm on fire. That means I will do more damage. Okay. All right. I have a question for you. What is your, out of not just Bioshock One? Out of all of the Bioshock games, what's your favorite power? Uh, Electro Ball is the is the handiest one. It's the one that you, it's the first one you get, and it's the one that you kind of stick with. Like every time I, it's all re it's reliable. Yeah, it's reliable. Every time I every time I play, like I always have Electro Ball like like on hand, just in case. Mm -hmm. Um, but I really. I really like uh, Ice Storm. Okay. That one's one of my favorites. My favorite power is the is the insects, the bees. That one's good too. I love the bees. Because uh, I also love when you get it super leveled up, they like stay in the bodies, and like the bodies become traps. I don't know, it's just super yeah. cool. Now this is an amazing, just... This one. I, you fear like, like, good God, she's gonna kill that baby. And then you... Huh. Then you get over here. Nope, that's a gun. Oh, well, it's just a gun. I'm gonna take that. Then it's even creepier. She's singing to a gun. Lots of blood. Coming up is one of my this thing. The masquerade doll. You immediately know something went wrong. Something went wrong was, on this date. This yeah, and nobody has to yeah, say because, anything. Yeah, because it's like nothing nothing has changed. Yeah, nobody has to say a single thing to you. You just see that. And you're like, okay, I get it. This game doesn't have aiming down the sights either. I think it's the only... It does. This one? No, it doesn't. Yeah. Oh, it does! It you're does. right! Oh my god! What the? Come on! Trying to be really careful. Charlie. 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 I'm trying to be really careful because I only have so much ammo. I was playing Resident Evil 4 yesterday, and it took seven headshots to bring a guy down. Jesus. I was like, you are kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I hate that. That's like, uh, you know what I loved about um, Uncharted One. Is that after you beat it, you got the cheats menu, yeah. and if you beat it on a specific difficulty, you could change it to kill everyone <laughs> in one shot. I loved that. It was because, not because like, oh, I want to get through the game really fast, and I don't want to have to worry about the combat, but like, it made it a little more realistic because you're just like, you know, one bullet's probably gonna kill somebody. Yeah, okay. So, oh, there you go. We got him. Here's one of the things I really love about this. There's a there's a, um, I'm a lot of supplies. There's a audio diary on the table in there. Right. I love. I love that audio diaries kind of illuminate the sad history of like a certain character. Right. Like if you collect all of uh, Diane Clintock's 
then you can kind of follow her progress and be her like, like relationship with Andrew Ryan and all that and stuff. Then, and then you know, Steinman fixes up her face after the. What is happening? Oh, it's a fish. I'm like, what is that? It's, what was that first aid kit? You lost it! You lost it! I don't know where it went. I don't know, I have like seven, so I'm, I'll be okay, but... There it is. You gotta hold A. Hold A. I guess so. And then, of course, this is the audio diary that kind of says, like, hey, like, this is, New like, Year's. This is what happened. Yeah. Well, I mean, you kind of know that something happened, but you didn't, they don't tell you about, like, all the revolutionaries or anything. Whoa! Hey. Yeah! That's a good shot. Although I missed the first one, so it doesn't matter. That's okay, we can fix it in post. Yeah, what is with this? Oh, you see this? That's what oh, I'm talking God. about. Oh, Christ. That's terrifying. That's not supposed to happen. That's terrifying. But I mean, like, that's not actually supposed to happen. I, I that was That's some weird bug. I've never seen that before. This is probably, like, the sixth time I've played this game. I've never seen that before. Uh, oh, oh, nope, not that I one. I don't think I went to the right one, but it's fine. It's the other one. Oh yeah, you're right. I think. Well, I think there's stuff in there too. I think there's stuff in the ladies' bathroom. Yeah, there's. Oh no, I'm too spliced up. Nobody's gonna want me. Uh man, I, you know I, yeah, I don't think if I lived here I could. Hey Brenda. Even oh, even with like powers, I don't know that I could I could inject myself. Would you live here, Roger? Oh. Oh, I, I feel like if it wasn't all messed up, it would be awesome. Yeah. You get to live underwater in this like cool libertarian society. I don't know. It sounds pretty sweet. It just, you know, it got ruined. And it, you know what is also great? And it's later in the game. Maybe if we get long enough into this series, we'll see it. There's a little. There's this little tiny side story. Um, where. You find out that the like the 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 Rapture Mafia was like smuggling in Bibles mm -hmm. and stuff because there's no there's it's it's a it's not it's not a secular place because secularism lets the religion exist. It's more like an basically under it's like an anti yeah it, well no it's it's sort of. it's just kind of like you. you... We live in a place where you don't have uh, where you don't have to answer to to religion. Right, but it's more like an anti theist religion or not no that's not what i'm saying sorry it's more like an anti-theist society where it's like religion is bad so we're going to cut it out completely and then there's all these people like well there's a demand for religion there's religious people in rapture so there's like the mafia has to smuggle in bible. the bible and like the rapture authorities are like trying to crack down i don't know it's just so fascinating to me like it's such an interesting thing i don't know and it's a side thing. Like the only way you 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 know about it is like through like one audio diary, and you find the room where you, there's like boxes of Bibles. Yeah. Like, and it was it's like a secret room too. All right, give me your stuff. Give me your ammo. I like that you looked out the window. You're like, who the hell are these kids? Who the hell are these assholes? Who are these kids? Who are these, are these, who are these, kids? Who are these pieces of shit coming here? This guy, he's got bullets. He's got a lot of bullets. Pretty good. Uh, man, where? Ooh. Ooh. The Vita chambers are off, so we're gonna have to save a lot yeah. in this. And we're actually coming up sort of near the end of a video, but oh, oh, no, no, no! Knock the mask right off. Is that it? Is that a revolver? No. Yeah. Oh, I can't. Uh, what if I reload? Then can I get yeah, it? Here we go. You knocked it out into the fucking. I know. I knocked it into. You knocked the, it into the ether. Into the fade. Oh, here it is. I got it. We're good. Whoa! Oh, fuck! There it is. Oh. I love. I love lining up those shots. You're just like one. You're just like I don't have to Show lose. you what's what. I think by the. I think we'll hit the end of this section by like 30 minutes. So we're coming near where the demo like. Yeah. And I played the demo. I mean, they changed some stuff after, like, they changed a couple things. Uh, 
in the final game, but I, I mean, this is where it ended. Altruism is the root of all wickedness. That's a very, uh, yeah, Anne right Rand... Before, right before you went to that team, that's why it would, uh... It's a very Anne Rand, like, thing. Which is, of course, you know, where it's based on. Yeah, where Andrew Ryan got his... That's where... He's named after her. Yeah. Anne Rand, so... Just a smart little, like... Wait, whoa! Oh. Oh. The reason I'm not moving around as much when I'm firing is because I just want to line up the shots. Nice. Because I want to conserve all my ammo. Where'd you go, lady? Come on. Got a big pool of water right there. Mm -hmm. Just let them all jump in. Oh, I love that. I also love how the environment is a weapon in this game. Like, and you you use the powers. Oh, is it this way? Yeah. You use the powers like in conjunction with the environment. And the, I mean, the water is just one example. There's other things you can do too, but. Ah. I'm trapped! This is a good scene. This is a good scene. It's the Andrew Ryan. This is a cool scene too because it, it it lets you know that he's still alive. Yeah. Everything that he says is pretty much awesome. <laughs> and I love like his the the, the image he has here because it's very like thug. Like, mafia ass, like he's he's intimidating you. Like you shouldn't be here, dog. Get out. <laughs> it's not some sunken ship for you to plunder. And then, and then you know you get his, you get Ryan's crudies like coming in, trying to break in. I thought it was interesting how in this game you don't really there's not really like sides anymore. Sort of like the there's no like the revolutionaries are kind of gone and the Ryan camp's no, kind just, of gone. It's just people. It's just basically you against everybody. Else. But it's like they're still fighting. Yeah, it's weird. It's a weird kind of thing. But it's interesting. I still want a game where that's that's the Civil War. Right. Anyway, I think <clears throat> I think actually this is a good place to start stop for part one. Mm -hmm. But we'll move on to part. Part two. Remember, subscribe to Toaster Chimp. Go to toasterchimp.com. Donate to our Patreon and get full videos a week early and some full audio for other shows like Picture Show Madness and other cool stuff. And if you don't want the well, the ride to end just yet, just click the link in the in the description. In, in the ending. Yeah, and in our ending. Yeah, thing. the little annotation, and it'll take you straight to the next one. Yes. I'm or if you're watching a playlist, then don't fucking worry about it. Yeah, then don't worry about it. It's gonna start really soon. But anyway, even if you don't watch the next one, be sure to check out Toaster Chimp. Stay so, tuned. We have videos every Friday. New videos every Friday. And the frequency will increase as you guys help support us. Remember, patreon.com slash Toaster Chimp. Twitter, we're at Toaster Chimp. Yes. Yes. And, uh, yeah, see you guys later.